Well, it's still kind of cold this morning. Well, the last two mornings it was very cold and I did not come out here to do anything. But today, I think it's uh, not so cold that I can't work on this painting. I've got to get this thing done. Sometimes I have to get this uh, kerosene heater going to warm this area up back here. Uh, eventually, over there on that wall, I'm going to get one of those split heating AC furnish units. Kitty, you better watch out. I'll step on you. So, uh, I might crank this up this morning, put some more fuel in it, to warm this place up just a little bit. All right, it's time to crank this thing up, I believe. Uh, I'm going to put some kerosene in here. This runs off the poof, kitty. This runs off of kerosene. So that funnel doesn't seem to be uh, small enough to fit in there. So I'll have to be real careful pouring it in. Last time I did this, I uh, poured it all over one of my shoes, and uh, yeah, it stunk for a while. So, uh, let's see if I can fill this thing up. Ah, it's coming out. See, it's pouring out all around the edge, so let me find another funnel. It's funnel time again. It's funnel time again, and it's not pretty. All right, I got this one. Voila. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I got it on my hand already. Uh, see, it's drip, still dripping down the back of the down the back side of the can. So it's gonna smell up my smell up my studio. Yeah, this is kerosene, I hope. I know this big red can here. This big red can started out full last winter. And uh, I know it's kerosene. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this one's kerosene. That's what it says on the side. Kerosene. So, uh, to clean up my mess. Clean up my mess here with a rag. And uh, find some matches. See if I can uh, keep from blowing up my studio. Matches. All right. Now, every winter I do this, I have to figure out how to light it again. I, uh, I know I have to open this little door. Turn it all the way. And uh, there's a, somehow that I'm supposed to. Metal shell, turn it all the way to high. Now there's somehow that's supposed to lift up. Dum dum dum, dum dum dum. dum. figure it out and then uh, get back to you all right let's try this again I uh, after some investigation 
there's a little lever down here it says auto start and there's an arrow that punches that way I was trying to push this thing down but you're supposed to push it in and it raises that baffle in there enough to put a match in to light it so let's see if I can go boom lit. This knob turns it off or on high. Right now I got it, I got it on high. I'll let it warm up. Ah, heat. Is a rolling bob. Well, I think this is a good a time as any to uh, mix the colors for the last uh, last uh, part here on this painting. I, uh, as you can see, I've got. Uh, Uh, I've got this part right here. Uh, pretty much done. So it gives me uh, like uh, I gotta try to mix that same value again. So I've got uh, one, two, three, three values of. Uh, semi flesh color in the in the uh, face and then I've got uh, this reddish orange tone around the edge of the the mouth and uh, and then the eye eyeglasses there's a, a blue a gray a yellow a, a greenish several several colors there that I need to mix a little of and then the eyes have this uh, uh, kind of a mauve color and over here it's a darker uh, so I've got a few colors to mix and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up starting with uh, the skin tones first the, the lightest skin tone will be a whole lot of white so I will uh, this, this cold paint it really makes it hard to squeeze out of these tubes so I've got put me some white out here and I might need more white later but uh, my my thinner uh, concoction mix stuff that I mix in with the paint. I just get get it on my uh, my palette knife here and go to town working it in. Just have to. It's like kneading bread dough or something it just has to be mashed and mashed and mashed until that oil that uh, mixture I've got of uh, oil and dryer and varnish I get it all mixed in with the paint that give it's going to give the paint uh, more of a sheen and it gives the paint uh, th it's a thinner uh, soupier texture for me to work with with the brush I, I never work with anything straight out of this tube like that but that's enough for now let's get this over there with it 
that's just my white. Now, in order to get this uh, this kind of a flesh tone here back, I'm going to mix up a little uh, mixture I use for flesh, and that is uh, I go with some uh, I go with a little orange. cadmium yellow now this stuff is really dry yeah. so make some cad put some cadmium yellow there and, uh, a dab of uh, raw sienna Sienna and uh, I'll mix, mix this all together, get some uh, uh, I need a little I need a little pink in there with it. Permanent rose, blizzard uh, crimson. Uh, here's some cabbage red. I need to order me some more, but this is this is almost gone. Cadmium red in here with it. Get this orange a little bit redder. And then I'll hit it. Take out just a little bit of this and mix it in with some white. This is uh this is kind of like uh the skin tone of uh skin tone like that, but uh, it needs more yellow, that's what it is, needs more yellow in there with that, so let's go with some more cadmium yellow, kind of an orangish color so I'll tone it down with some uh, blue a little bit of blue not too much just a little dab will do you just a little dab will do you a little blue you always mix contrasting colors to make it duller Now I've got this uh, real brownish skin tone that uh, uh, it's like uh, all right. Now let's pile this up over here. I 
use it for adding to white to make us to make the skin tone. So let me take a little knife here, move some of my white over here. Then I will uh, proceed to add some of this in with this white. And I come out with a nice flesh color. What what I, I consider a flesh color, which is kind of like the skin tone of a uh, white American uh, person from Tennessee Duh. and then uh, I could add all sorts of things to it to give it a yellowish I could add a little more yellow to this and give this flesh color a little more yellowish color this uh, this is beginning to look a little bit like lightest color that I already have painted on this part of the this part of the face right in here I've already got in so it's beginning to have a skin color similar to that uh, actually it may be a little more pinkish good place to start right here and uh, that will uh, that'll be like my top color so now I need something it's a uh, just a slightly bit of uh, kind of grayish in nature but lighter so I will take some more white right here uh, and mix in some of this to this white and uh, it's giving me that uh, much lighter shade mid-range uh, that's pretty close uh, and then of course that really really light color over here I'm gonna go with use the rest of my white with just a I mean just I can hardly let's get some red let's get some red light right there to use a little red goes a long way so uh, let's take a little bit of this red and mix it in with this flesh color that's just stayed on the knife. I know it looks white but it's, it's pinkish. It's kind of a, it's turning into a pinkish color here. Let's put some of this into it. See it's almost too, uh, not enough white so I'm going to add a little more white back to it. That's, 
that's a good color. I just need it to be almost white. I just need to have some more white in it. Because that's the mid-range. That should be the lightest. Right now, that's almost as dark as that one in value. So let's just switch knives here. Add some more white to it. Medium in here. Medium, that's what you call it. I was trying to think of that word a while ago. This is my painting medium. It's, uh, it's like, I wouldn't really call it a thinner because it's kind of like syrup. But it's a concoction of oil and varnish and a dryer stuff. Still not as light as I wanted it to be. So maybe I should uh, do this one a little bit darker. one needs to be a little darker. Some of this in here. Of, of 
cobalt blue. So it has a uh, orangish, reddish uh, tint to it. Put this blue in here, and the white that's on my knife lighten it up a little bit, and the blue will turn it kind of a duller, a little bit duller color. Let's get a little more blue. So, I don't know if you can see this on the on the video, but it's uh, it's kind of a a dull grayish bluish color now because I've mixed that blue in with the the yellowish part of it, uh, and just want to go a little lighter with it. Let's take some of this over here. As you can see this takes forever to get it right. And, and it's based on my vision, my eyes. So once I get it painted, and you come along and look at it, you might see something totally different. As long as I've got the 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 three different values where I want them, so I'll have to end this video right now, or this clip, uh, this little section of the video, and uh, work on it a little more. And we'll see uh, what I come up with for painting it on that big canvas. Well, it's kind of chilly this morning. And uh, I don't think I will get finished with this today. But I want to finish the video. And uh, I need to finish up this uh, little part of the... Uh, story I'm trying to tell with these video clips. This is the uh, the painting. I've worked on it for the last yesterday, most of the day, and a little of the day before. But I'm going to continue today. I've got uh, I've got the other color mixed to fill in the skin tones of the face. And, uh, and then I'll go from there mixing the other odd colors and uh, putting in the uh, glass frames and the shadows and some more colors in the uh, shirt that she's wearing and just uh, and then uh, do some blending of edges and uh, smoothing out corners uh, this curve right here needs to be uh, lessened a little bit a little bit less of a curve in the jaw uh, things like that so uh, this this number six brush six round is uh, a medium size that I've been using. If I go to really large spaces, I'll go to a, a large brush, or if I if I go to a smaller space, I'll pick up the, a smaller one like this, is a three or four little, little square brush. But uh, it just all depends on the space and the shape that I'm painting, as to what, what size brush. And I'm using my uh, guide here. I think this is it. This is my reference. And uh, I'm just going to start uh, start in on the, the skin tones. I'll, I'll do down here in the neck area first. And, uh, my medium is uh, ready to go. My paint is ready to go, I think. I've got a color mix that I believe uh, will work. It's the next. It's, it's like the next value down, and it's uh, not a whole lot of difference in uh, this one 
and the one beside it. So I will uh, put a little more white in it. So, because it needs to be a little lighter. It looks really light on the palette, but it's not quite light enough to go from this tone down to almost white, which is the white is what the canvas is. It needs to be almost white. Almost just like the canvas, but just a little hint of color. And that's what I thought I had over here mixed. But alas, I just laid some down and it's too close in value. It's not enough difference in value. Now the, this whole section that I put on yesterday, I need to go back and make that one slightly darker, maybe. Uh, I'm just not sure yet. But I'll try it first by making this lighter. I'm just adding white. Just adding some more white to it. Uh, and that's the story of my life. I end up wasting a lot of white, but I uh, have to get it the right value. And uh, I may end up going back, like I said, and just adding going back over this one to make it darker. Uh, maybe I should do that first. Because uh, this, this color I just laid on there, to my eye anyway, it's almost the same as the one before it. It doesn't look the same on the palette. It looks a lot lighter. But when I lay it down here, mm, it's looking much the same. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And I will be working on this when I finish up the painting. I will post a just a static still picture of it on the uh, website and uh, move on to the next painting.